Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to continue with our unique Apex topic series. So in this video, we are going to discuss what are bitwise operators and how we can use them in our Apex programming. So let's start. So firstly, the introduction, what are bits? A bit is a smallest unit of data that a computer can process or store. A bit can either be zero or one or whatever computation the computer performs on numbers, alphabets or any other stuff. It first converts them into bits and then store them in one byte so one byte is equal to eight bits so firstly like uh, let's understand what are bits so computer can only understand binary language that is the language of zero and one so whatever let's say we want to input a string we want to input a number so whatever the user inputs it the computer first converts it, converts it into a set of zero and one so uh, and based on that it performs the necessary operation on it so uh, let's take an example when we input 50 so uh, for us, it is a decimal format, which we input it in. The computer converts into binary representation of zero and one. So 15 dec uh, decimal will be equal to double one, double zero, one zero in binary. So let's discuss what are bitwise operations. So operations are operations that deal with numbers on the binary level. It is mainly used in numerical computations to make the calculations faster. So uh, we have some bitwise operators in Apex. So, uh, I'm I'm going to explain it and this is how we will represent uh, the operator in Apex. So the bitwise AND operator is represented by this symbol A and B. So uh, what this operator does, it uh, ANDs each bit in X with the corresponding bit in Y so that the result bit is set to 1 if both the bits are set to 1. So only if both the bits are set to 1, the result will be 1. Otherwise, it would be false. So when so for the bitwise AND, the important point is uh, when you AND a number by one, the, it is the same number, uh, the digit remains the same. Let's say that uh, we are using an AND operation on zero and B is one. So the answer would be A. And for the last, uh, when A and B are both one, the answer is one. So A AND one will equals to A. Now the bitwise OR operator, the OR operator is represented by this pipe symbol. Uh, as shown here, this pipe symbol. So basically what this operation does, it ORs each bit in X with the corresponding bit in Y so that the result bit is set to one if at least one of the bit is set to one. So if any one of the bit is uh, one, uh, the result would be one. So I think this is simple, the bitwise OR. Uh, this is a little complicated one, the bitwise XOR. So the bitwise XOR, uh, it exclusive XOR ORs each bit in X with the corresponding bit in Y so that the result bit is set to one if exactly one of the bits is set to one and the other is set to zero. So uh, if I say that in an uh, easy way, so if the uh, in, uh, if two numbers are the same, then the result would be zero. If the numbers are different, the result would be one as we can see in this table. So some important points of the XOR operator is if we XOR a number by one, it is uh, it returns its complement. We can see that here that if we are XORing zero, that is A by one and the result is one, that is the complement of A. So complement is basically the opposite of it. Since uh, we are talking about binary, lang uh, binary language, so in binary, the uh, opposite of zero would be one and uh, one would be zero. And if you see this, if we are XORing a that is one with one the result is its complement and if we XOR a number by zero then it is the same number itself so i have XOR uh, this uh, a zero by zero then the answer is a that is zero and similarly here if i XOR one by zero the answer is one and if i and if i XOR uh, uh, two uh, two same numbers then the result would be zero so we can see if I XOR 0 with 0, then the answer is 0. And if I XOR 1 with 1, uh, the answer is 0. So these important points would help us uh, in solving some questions, which we can solve with the bitwise operator, which we are going to see later. Now let's see the shift left shift operator, bitwise left shift operator. So what it, it does is it shifts each bit in X to the left by Y bits so that the high order bits are lost and the new right bits are set to 0. So uh, an example 1010, 1010 is uh, the binary of n, which is in the decimal format. So if I uh, left shift 1010 by one, 
that means i have i will move all these four bits by one and the answer would be 10100 that is i'll add one extra zero as i discussed in this explanation so uh, the decimal result of this was 10 and when i left uh, use the left shift operator by one the result uh, made to be result got 20 so the important points here are if i left shift a uh, uh, number by one then uh, the result is the double of that number and the general formula could be that if I uh, left shift a by b then uh, the result would be a multiplied by 2 to the power of b I, and if I take the right shift of operator now so uh, the right shift operator we have uh, two representations here we have a 3 greater than and 2 greater than symbol so uh, the two greater than symbol shifts each bit in x to the right by y, y bits so that the low order bits are lost and the new left bits are set to 0 for the positive values of y and 1 for the negative values of y. So uh, basically when we, uh, if we take an example, so if uh, we take 24 uh, in decimal and convert it to binary, it would be double one triple zero, and we right shift this by 1 so the answer would be double one double zero that is 12 that is the number got divided by 2 so uh, when we do a left shift the number gets multiplied by 2 and when we do a right shift the number gets divided by 2 uh, when that is when we do a right shift by 1 so uh, for negative values of uh, y the uh, for the negative values of y uh, in the left we will add 1 and uh, in the in positive values it will be 0 uh, but if we use the uh, 3 greater than sign, then uh, the new bi new bits which, be, which would be added to the left would always be 0. So here we, we are not showing the left bit because if the values are, uh, if we add 0 to the left, uh, it remains the same number, right? Like as we see in the decimal. So if we add 0 before the number, we can, it doesn't make any ch change to the number and it remains the same. Similarly, in the binary system, it is the way. So this is the general point that if we right shift a number, then it uh, divides the number by 2 uh, to the power of b. So now let's solve some questions. So uh, basically we have learned some of the operators now. Now your the question which would come to mind is what is the use of learning these? So uh, usually you won't uh, use this in uh, many projects, but uh, uh, it's, it is handy to learn these. So we can uh, solve some mathematical operations quickly. So let's say that we want to find a number, uh, whether it is even or odd. So the first approach which comes to our mind is taking the mod of the number by 2 to find the even and the odd. So using the same idea, we will, uh, if we are, have a number, let's say we, say we, let's say we have 5. Uh, so the 5 uh, uh, in decimal is represented as 101 in binary. So, uh, so if you want to convert, uh, let's say a number, a uh, binary number in decimal, what you will do is you will start from the right and move towards the left. So, so you will start from the right and move towards the left. So with the right bit, you will multiply it with two to the power of zero and subsequently moving to the left. Uh, in the first bit, you will move, uh, multiply it with two to the power of one and uh, subsequently with two to the power of two. And uh, once you complete that, you will get your decimal number. So if we, so what I'm trying to say is that the least uh, significant bit, that is the last bit of a binary number, uh, is the one that determines whether the number is going to be odd or even. So for uh, five, let's say it's one zero one, the last bit is one. So it is going to be odd. So we can write this code and let's go to developer console. So I have opened this expression operators documentation guide. So this is the apex developer guide and here you can see the uh, or operators, bitwise left shift operators and operators which we discussed in the video. Go through the, you can also go through the documentation to learn more about it. So now I'm in the developer console. I'll open the execute anonymous window. So uh, I've already coded this. So let's say that uh, we have a number that is five and we are going to check whether the number is odd or even. So uh, what we are going to do is we, we are going to uh, add that with one. So uh, 
in the and operator slide i showed you that uh, if you and a number by 1 it returns the same number so uh, what it will do is here the computer will first convert 5 uh, that is one, 101 in uh, the binary form so and then it will and it by 1 when you add it by one, the least you will get the least significant bit. That is the last digit. And then we are going to check if the last digit is equal equal to one. If yes, then it is odd. Otherwise, it is false. So let us give it a try. So this is uh, for five. And if I run it, it is going to say that uh, the number is odd. And now if I change it to four and I run it, I then it is going to be false. That is four is not a odd number. Uh, so now let us solve this question that is the single number so it is a question of the lead code so uh, the question is given a non-empty array of integer nums every element appears twice except for one find that single element so if i take the example they are saying that in an array uh, every element is repeating twice except one so find that number here two is repeating twice one is repeating only once similarly here uh, every number is repeating twice except for 4. So the answer is 4. So um, one way to do it is we can sort the array and then we can check like if the number is repeating or not. Or another way to do it is we can use a hash map. In the hash map we can find like how many uh, which element uh, only occurred once. Uh, but uh, that would requi require some space and extra complexity if we want to do it using uh, big O of n complexity that is linear complexity we can use the XOR uh, bitwise operator so if I'll go to the slide and I open the XOR uh, one so we learned that if we XOR uh, uh, two same numbers then it will return zero and if we XOR a number by zero it will return the same number so uh, the logic behind it is let's so let's take this example in this example one is repeating twice and two is repeating twice so we uh, if we xor all the digits in this uh, array so one xor one would be zero two xor two would be zero and then we would left with zero so if we xor zero with any number then it will return us the same number as we discussed here and we saw in the table. So we can use the XOR operation to find which number is only uh, present once and not repeating twice. So if we go to the developer console and if we see the code for it, so uh, uh, this is how you represent the XOR symbol in Apex. So this is the first example where four is repeating once. So the answer should be four. If I select it and I click on execute highlighted, and I click on debug, the answer is 4. Similarly, if I uh, comment out this line and I uncomment this one, so the answer here should be 30 because every element is repeating twice except for 30. So if I'll run this, execute highlighted, and I click on debug, the answer is 13. Boom. So this was a uh, this was uh, the bit apex bitwise operators which you can use so you won't use it much but it's good to learn them and we solved some of the questions uh, which we can uh, which can be solved using the bitwise operators so thanks everyone for watching this video hope you liked it and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone